Hello and welcome to the video tutorial for the new bleed reduction feature in the Drumagog 5.1 update. Drumagog has previously included different ways to reduce bleed on a track, uh, such as the auto ducking feature, the filter section, and the sensitivity bar. But now with the new bleed reduction feature, uh, one can reduce and essentially eliminate uh, false triggers coming from one track into another. So to demonstrate how the new bleed reduction feature works in Drumagog 5, we have a kick track that is bleeding into a snare track and causing the snare track to falsely trigger those hits. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell the kick instance of Drumagog to tell the snare instance of Drumagog not to play those particular hits. Now let's solo the snare track so we can listen to how it sounds with the bleed coming through and triggering the snare hits. Now you can hear and see the falsely triggered hits coming in from the kick track to the snare track. Down at the bottom part of the visual triggering window you can see where the bleed is, those smaller white blips that are being falsely triggered. So now we're going to show you how to use the new bleed reduction feature to remove these falsely triggered hits from the snare track. The way bleed reduction works in Dramagog 5 is using the same technology that already exists within the plugin that's used for the auto ducking feature. What this does is it allows one instance of Dramagog to tell another instance uh, that certain hits are bleed and not to trigger them. This feature is also non-host dependent and will work the same way no matter what DAW you're using. So to turn on the bleed reduction feature in Drumagog 5, you want to go to the settings section. So we'll do that first on the kick track and you'll find it in the upper left hand corner of the settings section. So for the kick track, we're going to want that to send a signal to the snare track telling it which hits not to trigger. So then we'll go over to the snare track in the settings section as well, and we'll want that to receive the signal coming over from the kick track so it'll know which hits not to trigger. And that's all there is to setting up bleed reduction. We wanted to keep it very simple for you. So now we're going to listen to the snare track with bleed reduction turned on. Now you can see in the visual triggering window where the kick bleed was once being triggered, the white dots have disappeared, and all you hear is the snare hits. And that's it for the bleed reduction tutorial video. Check out drumagog.com slash video or our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash wave machine labs for more tutorials.